Welcome to video number 31 in SQL reporting service. Today we're going to uh, see how can we, you know, uh, format the numbers in terms of a currency. I mean, so it happens like you know, a lot of times you see a price and you want to format according <coughs> to your need. So how can we do that? So let me go and quickly, uh, as you all know, this is a generic data source which is used by a data set in order to you know query through the database so, so uh, and format <coughs> and I'll say currency alright so now this is what we have let's go quickly add a data set in order data data set uh, I'm gonna call this guy as data set this guy does what format currency alright and uh, I don't have anything here so I'm gonna hit new user shared data source which we have on the right hand side which you can see hit ok <coughs> now it's time for a query so we want a currency to work with right so how can we do that <coughs> let's add four tables quickly employees order details orders products add close let's choose uh, product, product name alright then uh, this is a product name, order date, uh, unit price, quantity. All right, let's hit execute, and you got so many rows. All right, looks great. Hit OK. Fine. What is this? Contain lower space. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to do stuff like this. Underscore is allowed, not the hyphen. So all good. Now let's head to the switch. I'm sorry to the toolbox and get the table control and let's make it a little wider now start dragging your stuff product name order date unit price and insert column to the right and we'll add a quantity all right so we got a lot of stuff good so we have the data let's preview it and it looks great but there's a problem with the unit price you see there are 14 dot four zeros nobody likes that that's not the way the currency should be so in order to fix that what can we do is you select right click oh, okay first of all this is a tricky part sometimes it happens like you know you actually select the content so if you have selected a content then hit an escape unless and until you won't get this you know gray box till that you can't move further alright so now right click hit the text box properties and in here you got number you got currency in currency you see a lot of you know different different formats which you can choose as per your needs so if I'm choosing a currency and I want a two decimal place or one decimal place so I can choose as per my need right so right now it's, so I'm, it, it was two so I'm keeping it as two save it and let's preview it so as movement I preview now this is a little nice 14.00 dollars 9.80 now let's do one thing let's go back to the design and right click text box properties and go to number currency reduce it by one let's head ok let's preview again and now this is 9.8 alright <clears throat> so this is pretty cool and apart from that uh, you have the different options in here which you can walk around you know so it's up to you how how do you want it right so i hope this video gives you an idea how you can format the currency as per your need so thank you for watching this video and if this video helps you in some way then please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and good night